inner city, the modern world hiccups. Lampposts start to flicker on technical mix-ups. The data's getting scrambled, the image pixelates. Netsky meets my doom and begins to fornicate. In family homes across the land, PCs get the horn. Trying to check your email will only lead to porn. VDUs paint it black and PDAs forget. iPods won't play anything but Alanis Morissette. While modernity gets muddled up in cybernetic mire, several hundred miles away along cable, flex, and wire, feeling satisfied with a morning's hard exertion, the cause of all malfunction stands surveying his perversion. Tikov was the side effect of Edison's first light, Illumination's dark side, and atavistic sprite. The yang of Tesla's yin with a wicked, nervous twitch. The cute, sporadic, oh, that's had it. The technical hitch. His one-liners in the cipher would mystify the codemen. He created the I love you bug when I'm trying to fuck the modem. He'd surge down through the studio with an effervescent glow, making sure the bleep machine was far too fucking slow. If you spend your days processing products like cheap meat, his method won't be subtle, but his revenge will be so sweet. And he couldn't help himself when passing NASA's kit. The greatest hit she ever did. Shame the film was mediocre. But a silent worship at the screen became a way of life. And typing pool on typing pool paved over green field sites. Tikoff's early pleasure soon became a nine to five. The drudgery of a must do met the need to stay alive. Virus checker zombie soldiers chased him down the flex, and the people on the outside all cursed the hitching wretch. And it sucks when no one likes you. Your hard work's uncompleted. Every day they hate you more. You feel alt control deleted. So after 12 decades of pissing on the live electric cable, and countless days spent vomiting on the periodic table. Tikoff settled for the quiet life, got the blues, read the mail. But without an electrical fix, his health began to fail. He got the shakes, he got the DTs, got the sweats and lost his wits. But he felt nothing would resolve him to resume his life of hitch. What's the point if no one wants me, he thought, shuffling past the shops. Then, something right in front of him forced Tikov to take stock. On TV screens, in Dixon's, the news was blaring out. Something the world's protesters felt the need to shout about. Warheads springing up like weeds, killer robots on the loose. The hitch-free technological world tightening its own noose. The Pennines paved with bunkers, their nukes aimed at the sun. The machines were taking over, human beings were on the run. The emaciated Tikov saw it and felt his twitch return. The color flowed back through him and his moody blues were spurned. He knew that he could change things by resuming his attack. To put things right by making them wrong. The technical hitch is back. Now, the national grid is failing and helplines can't be helped. Liquidizers vomit and spell checkers get misspelt. DVDs get nasty and CDEs skip. A spiteful sprite sticks out a foot and makes a circuit trip. <laughs> and Tikov's found his role in life. He knows just what to do. And nobody is safe from him, the good, the bad, and you. So when things go right for you, my friend, you had better pray. The technical hitch knows who you are.
and he's never far.